Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to add tabs to your Internet Explorer. Have you ever wondered how people do that when they open up their Internet Explorer and all the way across the top of it they've got various tabs taking them to all their favourite websites? Well I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all let's open up the Internet. So if I, I'm using Windows 7 so I've got my Internet Explorer icon pinned to my taskbar down the bottom but you may have it on your desktop so just click Internet Explorer to open up the web. As you can see um, by default my first web page that comes up is Google. It's the only page that I have in my tabs as you can see on the top here um, and next to it I just have a new tab window with no other website associated with it at all. So the first thing we want to do then is let's think about all the different websites that we'd like to get our hands on really quickly when we fire up Internet Explorer. So one of the websites that I frequent a lot, I, I guess, would be eBay. So if I just type in the web address for eBay, you can tell I've been there before because obviously it's popped up already underneath. So if I just select that now, and op up opens eBay. Now if we stay or stay up in this top left hand corner of the screen and if I click on it with the left mouse button once the address you'll notice it goes blue. While staying on there I can right click and select copy. Now the reason for this I'll, I'll explain in a moment but if we go over to the right hand side at the top of your Internet Explorer where we've got tools click that box and a drop down menu will give you various things and we're interested in the one at the bottom with, which is internet options so click that and up opens on the on the other side of the screen um, a box with a window that shows me that my main web page is google.co.uk if we move to the end of it and just click once and then if I press enter it will drop down to the next line now if I right click and paste I've now pasted in my eBay website and that's as simple as it is to add new tabs. Now I could drop that down again and I could manually type it in if you like http colon slash slash www dot text on site dot co dot uk is another favourite of mine. If I click apply and OK and if I go back over here now and, and sort of shut down my Internet Explorer. Now next time I open my Internet Explorer, I've got three tabs. I've still got my Google because that's my default page. I've also got eBay and I've got TexonSite.co.uk. And that's really how easy it is and it's extremely fast. It's one of the good things about Internet Explorer 8 because it lets you get to your pages that you frequent the most really fast. If I'd made a mistake and I wanted to remove one of these pages, I simply reverse what I've just done. So if I go back over to Tools, drop down menu all the way down to Internet Options, and then simply, I don't know, maybe I want to take eBay out. I just swipe the line there, backspace, apply that, OK, and next time. I open up Internet Explorer. I've only got my Google and my TexonSite.co.uk. Now, one of the other questions that I get asked is, what do we do about this new tab? Because when I click it, I just get that come up, which is really annoying, and you know, I don't really want to use that. So it would be handy, maybe, that every time I opened a new tab, maybe it could open a fresh Google window. So let's go back over to Tools back down to internet options now this time we're not going to worry about this window up here we're going to look at the tabs window which is here if I click on settings here we see a, a small drop down box um, which says when a new tab is opened open if I drop that down and say I want it to open my first home page say OK OK again close the web down open it back up and now every time I click a new tab a fresh Google window will open every time 
Anyway, I hope that was of benefit to you. Um, this tutorial was inspired by Marion. Thanks very much, Marion, for asking us to, to show this to the rest because it is one of the questions we get asked a lot. Thanks very much.